Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today it's going to be an Easter get ready with me. So basically everything that I do to get ready for an Easter Sunday with my family. So first of all I'm going to start off by having a shower. I basically just wash my hair normally in the shower most, um, probably every other day. And I'm using, oh my gosh, the most amazing uh, shampoo and conditioner at the moment. These by Garnier and it's their Ultimate Blends shampoo and it's the Intense Repairer. So this has got uh, maple sap and castor oil in it and it's for kind of very damaged hair so at the moment I kind of feel like my hair's a little bit dry um, especially at the end so you can see me kind of putting that all the way through my hair especially to the ends and this just really helps to kind of nourish my hair so then I'm going to go in with the exact same conditioner and again this just intensively repairs my hair so I start off at the kind of scalp area I know a lot of people don't tend to put conditioner on their scalp but I do and then I just pop it down into the ends of my hair and again just give it a nice rinse through and honestly this smells incredible and it leaves my hair so so soft then I'm going to go in with my Aveda dry remedy oil this is so good for hydration and like moisturizing I just use this a couple of drops in my hair after I've washed it now as a scrub I'm going to use this Garnier skin active pure active intensive um, it's basically a three-in-one charcoal anti-blackhead um, so it kind of just gets deep into the pores so I just really get it in there you can use it as a wash a scrub or a mask so I'm using this as a, an exfoliating scrub today just gets really deep into my pores and I love it then I'm taking my Swiss Clinic and this is their micellar cleansing gel this is super super gentle on the skin it's got chamomile water and aloe vera in it and it just removes all impurities and really cleans my skin and then I'm going to use as a toner my favorite cordley beauty elixir it smells like grape it's beautiful and then I'm going back in with my Swiss Clinic rejuvenating serum this is so good to stimulate collagen production Production and it basically makes my skin just feel a lot tighter and a lot smoother and then as a an eye cream I'm using my favorite one by origins this is their ginseng it's so good to brighten and refresh your eyes and then as a moisturizer I'm using this keel super multi corrective cream this has got beech tree extract in it and hyaluronic acids so it's so good to firm and retexturize your skin and then I'm going to go in with some body butter now I love this this is by the Garnier range it's exactly the same the maple range it smells incredible and it's a really dry and rough skin which I love and then I'm going to go in with my Vita Liberata phenomenal two to three week mousse tan this is such a nice color it's really brown and it stays on for ages it doesn't streak either and I really just like the color that it gives you so you can see it's given me a really natural kind of brownie kind of color there I know I need to exfoliate my elbow don't worry okay then moving on to my hair I'm using my tangle teaser this is my personalized one it's my compact styler I love it it's got Penelope on the front of it and I just use that to remove any tangles in my hair. To blow dry my hair, I'm using my GHD hair dryer. This is so, so good. It's really powerful and it just gets through my hair really, really easily. So I love it. And then I've got this Denman. This is actually um, a back combing comb, but I use the end of it to just separate my hair just to get a bit of a different kind of parting once I blow dry my hair, just so it kind of looks a little bit more volumized on one side at the top because my hair's a bit of a weird kind of parting. And then I'm using my Sebastian Trillion Spray. I love this so much as like a heat protective and also it gives a, a real nice shine to your hair just before I go in there with my GHD they're like the max styler straighteners or something I will uh, obviously list everything below for you guys but this is for designed for really long thick hair so this is perfect for my hair just to straighten it and then I'm using my Tresemme freeze hold hairspray I love this just to do a bit of back combing so I lift it up at the roots and then just use that comb again just to put a little bit of back combing in there not too much but just want to little bit of volume at the roots and then I smooth it all over exactly the same with the comb so it just creates a really nice finish and then I'm just going to finally spray it with that Tresemme hairspray again just so it holds it all in place. I'm going for quite a natural kind of sleek sort of look today so I hope you guys like it. Next on to my makeup I'm using this Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This has got coconut water and probiotic ingredients in it. It's so nice as a primer and then to get rid of any dark circles I'm using my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Red neutralizing correcting cream with my Sephora Pro airbrush concealer brush this is so good at just kind of getting away any tiredness and, and uh, kind of dark circles then for my foundation I'm using two things I'm using my Urban Decay all nighter um, waterproof longwear liquid foundation in 5.5 and also the darkening shade drops from the body shop this just gives me a really great color that matches um, my tan and I'm just applying it all over my face with my blank canvas cosmetics f20 brush and this is so good 
it kind of just giving a really flawless foundation finish. I love it. Next, I'm going to go in with a bit of highlighting and I'm using my Maybelline Go Rio Instant Anti-Age. And this is basically the eye eraser. It's so, so good for covering and concealing, but I use it to kind of lighten up my face. So I just do it in triangles sort of around underneath my eye, go along my T-zone and down on my chin and then buff it out using my Beauty Blender. To keep that all in place, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Powder. I just apply this with a beauty blender quite liberally because I'm going to brush it off later. So you're just going to leave that for a bit to kind of settle. Next I'm taking my Illamasqua cream pigment and I'm just going to use this across the base of my eyelids just to kind of make sure that my eyeshadow sticks in place. And then I'm taking my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and first of all I'm going to start off by using the peaches and cream colour and I'm just going to apply it using my um, Sigma Large Fluff brush and this is just going to go all over the base of the eye. Next I'm going to go in with um, the puree colour from the palette and use my Sigma Taper Blending brush and I'm just going to put that all into the crease and build up the colour slowly and then I'm going to use Summer Yum and just kind of build that up even further into the crease and just a bit higher up towards my brow line. This just creates a really beautiful colour and then I'm going to go back in with the first brush and put the peaches and cream just into the bottom of my eyelids just to kind of break it up a little, a, a little bit. Sorry and look a bit more smoky and I'm just going to brush off that um, translucent setting powder using a Real Techniques brush just so that it's nice and mattified and next I'm going to use for bronzer my Laguna NARS bronzer I love this because it's actually a really nice bronze colour rather than looking orange and I'm just applying it all over my face and neck with my Sigma large powder brush this is such a nice colour and then I'm going to go in and contour with using my NARS Talia palette and also my blank canvas targeted contour brush this just makes it super easy to kind of contour your nose around your forehead your cheeks and it just looks really sculpted and beautiful on my cheeks I'm going to be using my Mac spring sheen this is my sheer tone shimmer blush I love this color and I just apply it with my blank canvas dome powder brush and then I'm going to go back in with the Talia palette and highlight just where I put the concealer just using my Sigma tapered highlighter brush next for my eyeliner I'm going to use my NARS this is the unrestricted satin eyeliner styler this is so beautiful this is in black makes it really easy just to do like a massive flick so I'm kind of going for quite a dramatic eye look today um, so that's just going to go along the top of my eyelids and then I'm using my um, Smolder Coal by Soap and Glory this is just going to go into my waterline of my eyes just to create a little bit more of definition under my waterline because I love doing that and then as mascara I'm using my Urban Decay Perversion for basically massively volumized and really striking lashes. I absolutely love this mascara. Again, this is just in black and it is such a nice mascara to use. It doesn't kind of transfer, which I love. On my brows, I'm gonna be using the Wonder Brow Gel and this is basically super easy to do your brows. So you just first of all start off by just kind of making a nice color, uh, a nice shape, sorry, using the brush that's in it. And then you're gonna use the gel. Now this one is actually in black brown and I just kind of sculpt it using a matte just an angled kind of brush this is number 226 and I just get a bit of the product on shape it a little bit and then I basically just go and fill it in with the rest of the um, the color on the actual stick and then I'm going to be using some false eyelashes today these are by Ardell and these are their wispies and I'm just going to use my duo adhesive to kind of set them aside for about a couple of minutes while I line my lips and on my lips I'm going to be using my NARS lip liner in Morocco I love this color it's a really nice neutral color and then I'm using my Beauty Pie lipstick in Cowboy Nude, which is a really matte lipstick um, just over the top. Again, it's quite a nude colour and I love that with this look because the eyes are quite striking. But I am then going to go in with a um, Beauty Pie lip gloss over the top and this one is in Sugar Bun. This will just kind of set it off a little bit and just kind of make my lips pop. I really love this colour, it's so beautiful. And then I'm just going to take my eyelashes again, so I'm just using my Tweezer and Tweezers to be able to put them on and then I'm just going to go back in with that NARS eyeliner again the liquid one just to kind of fill in any gaps and make them look really natural so these are I say natural you know what I mean this is my finished look and I really hope you like the makeup so then last but not least in terms of getting ready is doing my nails and I'm using the nails ink back to life recovery treatment and base so I just use this across my nails just to kind of um, make them 
not get affected by the nail varnish on top and just to kind of strengthen them a bit. And then I'm using my Ciate, this one is in Iced Frappe Nail Varnish, I love this colour, it's really pretty for spring. I really love Ciate nail polishes, they are so beautiful and they go on really thickly which I love. And then I'm finally using the Sesh Feet, this is the Dry Fast Top Coat and I love this because it just makes sure that they don't actually um, get damaged when you put your hands on your wear straight afterwards which is good. So this is my final outfit, I'm wearing a top from Next, I'm wearing leggings from Nike and I'm also wearing this super cute Daniel Wellington Melrose classic watch this is so so perfect to go with my outfit I wear it all the time and I've actually got a promo code if you guys want to use it check out the info bar below and then these are my really cute accessorized slipper socks I love wearing slipper socks so I'm just chilling out at home so then moving on to the chocolate this is all from Prezi box and they do some really cool stuff like a little rabbit with carrots they do um, chili chocolate if you guys don't want to go for chocolate then there are different things you can get like the edible eyes that I've just shown you guys. These are actually Brussels sprouts, they are white chocolate. Um, from Sass and Bell, there's a really pretty um, picture frame that you could get for someone. Three-in-one lens sets that should actually for your smartphone, but they look really cool on your camera. For kids, you could get them this instant air hockey game. So there's just so many things that you can get on Prezi Box's website. And my sister's actually going in there for a chili chocolate, which is gonna get a bit of a surprise. But we just love to chill at home and just relax and eat lots of food. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's get ready with me and I really hope you have a fun Easter if you want to see my last video please click on the link below and of course subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in a few days time in my next video bye